हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम अप्लाई ऑपरेशंस टू मेक टू स्ट्रिंग्स इक्वल एंड आई होप दैट यू गाइस ट्राइड दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर एटलीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स इफ यू डिडेंट सॉल्व इट गो एंड सॉल्व देन यू कैन कम एंड वॉच दिस टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वे ओनली यू कैन इम्प्रूव यूर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स सो बिफोर वेस्टिंग एनी फर दैट टाइम लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम हियर यू आर गिवेन ए टू zero indexed binary strings s1 and s2 both of length n and a positive integer x hmm? he has given s1 and s2 two integers and a positive integer x you can perform any of the following operations on the string s1 any number of times choose two indices i and j and flip both s1 of i and s1 of j the cost of operation is x suppose you can take two indexes from s1 and dash two and you can flip both indexes flipping means if it is one it will convert it to zero and if it is zero it will convert it to one this is called a flip there is a difference between flip and swap swap is something which will swap the values if it is one comma zero if you swap this it will become zero comma one and choose an index i such that i is less than n minus one and flip both s one of i and s one the cost of operation is one suppose If you want to flip index at three and four, we can flip this index at the cost of one, at the cost of one. But suppose if you want to flip at index one and index seven, and suppose my x is three, so if you want to perform the second operation, how many chances it will take? One to seven, it will take six. But if you perform the first operation, if you perform the first operation, this will be completed in x is equals to three. x equal to we need to return the minimum cost needed to make both strings s1 and s2 equal we need to make such that s1 and s2 are equal is this scenario is valid now if us now we have 3 comma 4 and my x is 2 then 3 comma 4 is my valid scenario i can use second operation my answer will be 1 suppose i have 1 comma 7 and my x is equal to 2 if you say this the cost of operation is 6 and it is too costly right Uh, uh, if you choose second operation, but if you choose the first operation directly, I can check one and seven and flip it in the cost of two. So this is my minimum. So he is saying that we need to get the minimum answer. So first, let's understand. I think uh, you understood the problem statement. So let's understand this scenario. So let's say uh, when my answer will be minus one. Take this two, take this two arrays, and if you see. Ah, uh, only matter. Ah, uh, only I can change is the values which are differ. If the values are same, I don't want to. Ah, uh, I don't want to consider because suppose one zero. This is my answer. Sorry, not this. If I have one, I care only these two elements, not this one one, because the only the different elements are matter. So if I take this. Ah, zero one zero. This is my example, and these are my indexes. At index zero, and at index one, and at index four, there is a mismatch. There is a mismatch between the bits. So you can say zero one four. So zero one four. If I take zero and one, and I can flip. Okay, definitely I can flip. It will become one and zero. So, for four, is there any pair? For four, there is no pair, right? Four is still empty. so you can't make suppose if you are taking 4 and if you are flipping with 3 then 3 at 3 index it will become 1 at 4 index it will become 0 but at 3 index still i have 1 still the my both are s are not equal so we can conclude that if if my number of mismatches between the bits is an odd length is an odd length then i will return minus 1 then i will return minus 1. you can take few other examples and you can try it out Uh, so that you can get the better understanding, I have tried my best to explain this. So next, coming to this scenario, now this case two. Uh, now you have this both uh, S one and S two. Uh, these are all my taking, and this is my mismatch, mismatch indexes, mismatch zero, three, five, eight, and my X is equal to two. What is the best operations I can do here? I can take if I take zero to three, if I perform this second operation. If I perform this second operation, my cost will be three, but this will all get set. If I perform second operation on this, my cost will be three. But if I perform 
x is equals to 2 if i want to perform the first operation this cost will be 2 this cost will be 2 what is my minimum cost my answer is 4 so in this way either with this element i can perform minimum cost or this one this is my case 2 let's see about case 3 let's see about case now my x is equals to 3 and 1 3 and 4 6 to perform this operation is 2 and perform this operation my answer is 2 so it is 4 but if you want to take this and if you want to perform the first operation which x equals to 3 then it will be 3 and it will be 3 my answer is 6 so it's very uh, it's very obvious it's very obvious such that we can take these two elements we can take either these two or these two or we can use x now let's say the fourth scenario let's say fourth scenario. this is my answer uh, this is my mismatching 1 3 4 6 I have taken this example you can construct your own S1 and S2 now if you see to make 1 3 4 and 6 if you take 1 3 if you take 1 3 what will my, my operations it will be 2 it will be 2 4 and 6 it will be 2 4 and let's see uh, this if I perform the second operation my uh, answer is getting 4 but if I want to perform the operation 1 on 1 and 6 I can perform operation 1 and 6 my answer is 2 and at 3 and 4 I will perform operation uh, operation 2 where my answer will be 1 so 1 1 plus 2 3 so it can be uh, 1 combination of 1 or combination of 2 or combination of 1 plus 2 I can't ignore any of the scenarios so let's see the recursive function let's see the recursive function I think you understood let's take you can take few examples and you can check it out you can check it out if you take the recursive function i will start from i and i will as at zero and j will be my minus uh, m minus one m minus one is a mismatched mismatched array size mismatched array size now this will be my recursive relation v of i plus one minus v of i i can do subtract i can subtract if i subtract this i will go to this index i plus two or else or else from the back i can come from the back from this two i can subtract it j j minus one and i it will come here j minus two will decrease because these two all get set or else i can take this and this ah okay you are taking this and this can i take th this both these two elements ah can i take uh you are taking this and this here we are taking this i plus one j minus one means we are taking this and this can we take uh, suppose if I take this uh, if I perform the operation 2 my answer will be 4 but here tell me like x is 3 x is 3 can I take 1 1 5 and 6 10 3 plus 3 it is 6 but if I take 1 and I want to increase the productivity of x I want to increase the productivity of x so I will take the element which is at the end which is at the end if i take the element which is in the end definitely my productivity will increase so if i take 1 and 10 it will take as operation as 3 then 5 and 6 definitely it will be 1 so my answer will be 4 for this scenario so i think you have understood it you can try it out with few other examples why we, we should take only the last element not the between elements not the between elements so i think you understood this recursive solution and if you are comfortable with recursion only you can solve this problem otherwise it's difficult and if you are not good at reduction, uh, recursion i recommend you to watch take you forward or aditya varma's recursive playlist that is pretty good now if i come to the solution let's understand the solution in a high level now so at every mismatch i am storing in a vector every mismatch i am storing in a vector and this is the mem set i am using uh, as 501 and 501 and answer solve am i solving it and if you see this is my j if i taking these two i will increment i plus two if i taking first two elements then i need to increase i plus two if i taking last two elements then i should decrease then i need to decrease if i take x then i will increase the first element and decrease the last element this is the last element okay this memoization solution this memoization solution that is pretty simple that is pretty simple because because you should see only the variables which are changing only changing this i is changing my j is changing with states which are changed which 
which are changed are in deputable are in deputable are in deputable the states which are not changing are we will not consider that so i have this both are changing so 5015 how i took this here you can see the constraints here you can see it can go to until 500 so i have taken 501 and 501 so i am storing it in dp minimum of a comma minimum of b comma c because i want the minimum of all this so i directly returned it uh, but we will get tla but we will get tla so i have did memoization i think you know this that's why i am not explaining deeply like how this uh, if, how this works this is like an overlapping sub problems like function one come some n comma m is there and one function will generate n m minus 1 and one will generate f n minus 1 and m and other will generate f of n minus 1 and m minus 1 now if you come to this it will generate f of n minus 1 and at this it will generate f of n minus 1 and m minus 1 then definitely if you see this this will overlap to my this in the same scenario this is happening this every time it will overlap and if it is not equals to minus 1 then we are returning it so if you see this the what will be my space complexity it will be order of n into n and coming to time complexity i am not sure uh, i felt the problem was a bit difficult and calculating the time complexity was also a bit tough because you see this only these two states are changing i thought of order of n into n but if you see we have three recursive functions we have three recursive functions but uh, i don't know i need to figure it out i will attach if i get the time complexity i will attach the time complexity in the problem description you can check it out so i wish i hope you understand this solution and thank you for watching